Today I show you the eye bulge effect. And this effect gets used in many music videos, for example in the Eminem music video Godzilla, or in the NLE Chopper music video, or the Supreme Patty music video. And now I will show you how you can recreate this effect. First of all you take your clip and go into Fusion. Now press Shift and Spacebar at the same time and write down Dent. Now click on the Dent symbol with DNT and click on Add. Now change the Dent type from Dent1 to Dent2. And now you have to change your size from your effect. In my case I write down 0.05 in the size field. But this size can change with the size of your eyes. Now drag and drop the position of the effect to your left eye. If you want to zoom in then press Ctrl and roll your middle mouse button. And now you can see that at the first frame the effect works. And now we want to track this effect by right clicking center, click on modify with, click on tracker position. Now you can change your tracker position by clicking on the left dot here. So try that your tracker position is on your eye. And now click here on modifiers and press this button. The movement of your left eye is tracked now and the effect works for all frames. Now press on OK. And the effect is done for the left eye. Now click on the dent1 node and press shift and spacebar at the same time. Now type again dent, click on the dent with the dnt and press add. Then decrease the size of your effect for your right eye. In my case it's again 0.05. Now you should be on the first frame of your clip, zoom out and change the position of your effect onto your right eye. Also change the dent type from dent1 to dent2. Now press again right click on center, press modify with, press tracker position. Click again on modifiers and press again this right button here. Now the movement of the second eye is tracked. All in all that's the eye bulge effect but I want to show you something. So you can go to tools and you can change the strength. So go to the first frame of your clip and decrease the strength of your effect. In my case it's minus 0.31. Now I also decrease the strength of the second eye. Now keyframe your strength on both eyes. Go about 8 frames forward and change the strength to 1. Click on the spline tab here and here you can see all of the animations but we only need the strength animation and that's why we uncheck all the other animations. Now you have to mark this animation and press alt and s at the same time. Now the animation is smooth looking and here you can see the result of our effect. Yeah I hope that my tutorial could help you and if yes you can leave a like or a sub to my channel. And if you have two minutes left then watch this here, there I explain the locked on stabilization effect. And here at the right you can see another playlist in which I show you some other music effects. Thanks for the attention and bye!